Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it together for today's tech news because I... I had nightmares about Ludwig all night. Riley sucks ass. You suck ass. Why? Intel has announced their latest ultra flagship gaming processor, the $689 Core i9-14900KS. And if you thought it was kind of a pointless product, well, pfft. Listen to this. Not only can it boost up to 6.2 gigahertz, 200 megahertz more than the now pathetic regular 14900K, get it out of my sight, it may be Intel's last flagship desktop processor based on a monolithic die, since Team Blue's next-gen Arrow Lake chip lineup will use Fulveros modular tiles, and it's also Intel's last CPU designed for the LGA 1700 socket. The last of its kind. That is pretty based. But being the last is probably just fine with the many enthusiasts who seem to view the 14900KS as the third re-release of the 13900K featuring 3% higher clock speeds and a 20% higher TDP. And sure, that sounds like a bad trade-off until you hear that ASUS ROG's overclocking team used the 14900KS to hit 9.1 gigahertz, breaking the previous CPU frequency world record set by Swedish overclocker and Australian Sesame Street character Elmer. As Ars Technica points out, this chip seems like a strange relic of the millennial years when higher frequency was the only thing that mattered and chips wouldn't get goddamn jobs. <laughs> Intel just can't let go of the fact that AMD beat them to 1,000 megahertz. I can't wait to see the look on their faces when Intel is first to 10,000 megahertz and also the first to burn down their office. The now infamous ban TikTok bill shot through the US House of Representatives in a landslide vote this week, but it should slow down a bit when it gets to the Senate, where many of the seats are held by the Ents of Middle Earth. Don't be hasty. But if the bill does eventually become law, TikTok will be banned in the US of A, unless its Chinese parent company ByteDance sells the app. But to whom? Well, some have answered the call, expressing interest in buying TikTok. There's former CEO of Activision Blizzard and secret lord of the goblin realm, Bobby Kotick, Canadian business mogul and the Simon Cowell of Shark Tank, Kevin O'Leary, Donald Trump's former treasury secretary, and that's all I'll say about him, Steven Mnuchin, and the CEO of video platform Rumble, Chris Pavlovsky, who apparently would want to buy TikTok even if all of its users fled in terror. But these anti-Avengers may never actually need to assemble, because according to TikTok CEO and favorite gum of sneakerheads, Shoozy Chu, ByteDance ain't selling for obvious reasons, but also because China might block the sale rather than grant a tech export license for TikTok's secret sauce, its algorithms. So it looks like TikTok may very well be banned in the US. But I mean, China did it first, so. Cerebrus Systems has unveiled what they call the world's fastest AI chip, the WSE3, featuring a whopping four trillion transistors. They put the whopping in there themselves, so that may be part of its specs, I don't know. Burger King's involved. What I do know is that it's slightly easier to fit four trillion transistors on a chip the size of a chunky iPad. The WSE3 is like 50 times bigger than Nvidia's H100 GPU because WSE stands for wafer scale engine. The whole chip is a full wafer, the largest five nanometer one that TSMC can make. It's got 900,000 cores, 44 gigabytes of on-die memory, and its CS3 system configuration can do 125 petaflops compared to the 16 petaflops offered by Nvidia's DGX H100 system, and that's all before it rolls for intimidation. This thing is so juicy that YouTuber Tech Tech Potato, AKA Ian Cutris, tried to eat it which I wouldn't recommend if you ever encounter this thing in real life. You should just run. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Vessi. They claim their shoes are extremely waterproof and keep your feet cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Their Stormburst high top shoes combine the comfort of a sneaker with the grip and coverage of an outdoor boot. They feature extra layering for added warmth and extra grip to prevent you from slipping and sliding in unfavorable weather conditions. The Stormbursts are feature packed and will make great gifts with the unpredictable spring weather coming up. Check out the Vessi Stormburst and other styles at Vessi.com slash TechLinked and get 15% off your first purchase at checkout. Quick bits are not for eating. I know they sound delicious. 
but I snacked on one and now they won't shut up about it. So just, you know, let's just don't. NVIDIA's CPU technology conference starts in a couple days and we reportedly may get a glimpse of the company's next gen flagship B100 AI chip based on the Blackwell architecture, which might seem a little strange given that they won't even start shipping the H200 until Q2 of this year. But I'm not sure that matters since Nvidia's last gen A100s are still in very high demand. I have to assume because no one knows about the iPad size chip yet, it's right there. What does matter though, is the possibility that we may also get a look at Team Green's Blackwell gaming GPUs. Although we only have one source for that. And when the RTX 50 series gets announced, we're just gonna make fun of how overpriced they are anyway. So it's, it's, it's like, whatever. SpaceX launched the third test flight for their Starship rocket yesterday. And this time it didn't explode. Within the first 10 minutes of flight, the Starship reached orbital velocity and the first stage super heavy booster successfully separated from the ship, which then entered space and even began re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. And then at some point it, it either burned up or broke apart. I mean, th these things happen, but what, what are you supposed to do? Perhaps in some sort of unalive pact, the super heavy booster, which was supposed to make an autonomous controlled landing in the ocean, instead just hit the water at full speed. What was a belly flop world record attempt? It's a, it's a daredevil. Still, this flight lasted significantly longer than the previous test, so progress is being made. Elon has promised six more test flights this year. The next one will probably last at least a day before it falls apart. I mean, you, you go to space and try to stay together. Microsoft is expected to announce its new ARM-based Surface devices next week, and rumor has it they'll be rocking Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite. According to Windows Central's sources, Microsoft is very excited about the performance and efficiency gains of the chip, and it might be worth getting excited about, since the Snapdragon X Elite beat the Intel Core 7 Ultra 155H in previously unseen benchmarks. Although the benchmarks were run by Qualcomm, and both the Snapdragon and Intel reference laptops were built by Qualcomm. So maybe don't just take that with a grain of salt, take a full daily recommended dose. America's Federal Communications Commission, or FCC, has quadrupled the minimum internet speed allowed to be marketed as broadband. The new standard is 100 megabits per second down and 20 megabits per second up. This is the first time they've upped the requirements since 2015. The agency seems to want to force ISPs to deploy more telecommunications infrastructure, citing the fact that millions of Americans living in rural areas or on tribal lands don't have access to fixed terrestrial broadband service. And setting a long-term goal of one gigabit per second down and 500 megabits per second up as something for stakeholders to strive for. I should be able to drop from the battle bus with my squad from the Fond du Lac reservation with no ping. It's where the water and the buck stops. And no, you haven't traveled back in time to 2021, but Crypto miners are causing hardware shortages thanks to the rising value of Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's the cryptocurrency's fault. These people can't help themselves. But it's not GPUs this time. Ryzen CPUs are apparently more viable for certain mining algorithms. So prepare to have a hard time finding those and an even harder time once AMD launches their Zen 5 based Ryzen 9000 series later this year. Hey, you know what never has a shortage? Books. <laughs> Dune is a popular movie, it's based on, you can read the. But after you crack open a novel, come back on Monday for more novel technology information. You know we had to Dune it to ya. Yeah, hey, Better than. Rally, have you seen Dune too? Yeah. It was really good. I don't think you'd like to see what I'm doing to your mom. There it is, there it, okay. 